Rome, his home. And now to match up against Ethan Ewing. Beautiful opening carve. Second big turn and goes for that finish under the lip. And he's he's got some control to gain in the lineup. Well, I feel like he matched Leo on that one. I feel that that, that was a very similar ride as far as getting the three solid maneuvers in. It, it'll it really depend on that that last one. If the judges saw that as critical, but I thought that in amongst it all, his second turn was very very strong. So let's see this one on takeoff, late takeoff, smooth as as can be as always. Great snap there. Comes down, transitions, double pump off the bottom. Just a really solid mid turn there, and then the finish up. It gets it gets in early, and that was critical. There was a lot of white water suds. And look at that late takeoff, that sideways takeoff. It makes it look so easy, seamless. And in the slow mo, Shannon, this first turn, wow, solid, huh? Just that Andy Iron style off the bottom into that perfect carve to kick it off. Yeah, and I felt like this middle turn here, just a bit more solid than we saw with Theo's, um, with Leo's. And then finishes gets up early and when you see it in slow-mo how critical that is he makes it look so easy <laughs> it comes through as a 9.00 and i think you just hit the nail on the head rabbit in saying that ethan had a lot more to bring in this australian leg yeah i just feel there was some unfinished business ethan highest heat title of the day you're just saying you wish you could have caught more waves but uh you know a 9 and 8.9 must be pretty pretty damn stoked with that yeah, it uh, definitely felt good. Um, I was watching the waves and it's, it's not easy out there. The wind's really strong up the face and a lot of kind of wash through sets and stuff. But yeah, I was lucky to kind of get those two ones that were pretty smooth and yeah, felt good. And you were just saying that you had a bit of a board switch up. You actually pulled out one of your boards you were riding at sunset this year, a 6.4 DHD. You rode it this morning and it obviously felt like the one. Yeah, uh, DH is... He made me an amazing Hawaiian quiver and um, they were too good just to leave over there. So I brought him here. I knew it gets big over here. So yeah, it feels great. So thank you, DH, for <laughs> shaping the good boards. And you're obviously safe on the cart. You're way up the the, uh, the rankings. You must be so stoked to have that, that pressure off and just be able to surf smooth and, and do your thing. Yeah, for sure. It's uh feel so sorry for the guys coming into this event, guys and girls. So much pressure on them and um, yeah, the cut's gnarly and just seeing, yeah, everyone devastated after losing. It's, it's pretty hard to watch. <laughs> but, yeah, um, it's, yeah, it was great for me to kind of get the job done early in the year. And, yeah, now it's kind of more top five and stuff like that. So Amazing. And looking at the forecast, you must be excited that you get to jump back out there tomorrow. Yeah, everyone's saying tomorrow's the best day in the waiting period So and finals day. So, yeah, it should be really fun. And anyone you want to say hi to? I'll uh, just say hello to everyone back home, everyone watching, uh, all my friends and family. Hope you guys are well and see you soon. Amazing. Ethan Ewing, see you into the round of 16 tomorrow.